Good morning. For my next reading log assignment, the William Allen White Award winner from 2017 for grades three through five, I chose Life on Mars by Jennifer Brown. And just a quick heads up here, despite the pictures on the front and obviously the title Life on Mars, um, even though the main character in the book, Artie, loves science and the planets and the stars, yeah, this is not a science fiction book. It's more a book about relationships, family life, um, Artie's relationship with his mom and dad, um, Artie's relationship with his siblings, and Artie's relationship with his two best friends. So the premise of the story is Artie, um, as I said, is a middle schooler. One of the cool things I liked about the book, which I didn't realize when I picked it, is set in Liberty, Missouri. Um, so I've lived in North Kansas City, so I was familiar with some of the descriptions that the author has used. And Artie is a, a science fiction geek, nerd. I guess we can use that term affectionately for him. Um, he loves studying the planets, knows all about the planets and the stars. He sits on his roof at his house and stares at the stars. Does the same thing with his two best friends, Trip and Priya. The other major character in the book is actually known as Dr. Death uh, because Adi sees him sneak in and out of his house at night. We then find out one of the interactions throughout the book um, is between Adi and Dr. Death, but we found out that Dr. Death was actually part of the NASA sci uh, space program. So his real name was Cash Maddox. We also find out that Cash suffering from cancer and ultimately in the book he dies. So it's just another lesson that kids can learn from reading this book. Number one, first impressions. Um, and number two, it deals with difficult subjects such as cancer and also losing someone that you love. The other theme in the book is the, the Adi's family, mom, dad, um, and then two siblings, both girls, one of the older girls, one of the funny parts is the relationship she has with her boyfriend as a love-struck teenager, something I dealt with quite a lot as a, a dad of four girls, um, and then be working in middle school and high school. Um, how relationships, you know, that are a day old can impact education and stuff like that. Um, dad loses his job, which is another theme in the book, and then they have to move from Liberty, Missouri to Las Vegas due to dad's job. So dealing with that, the emotions and the and such like, um, is all a major part of the story. So again, like I said earlier, it's not really a book about the planets. It's more a book about relationships, growing up, middle school, um, and such like. So quite fascinating stuff and very, very enjoyable. There's lots of humor throughout the book. Humor is used for difficult topics, job loss, cancer, death, family having to move, moving away from friends. Uh, but you, you read the book and you chuckle. And then it's nice to see, even though, for example, Cash dies, um, the book is, is ended with, with positivity. Um, Artie settles in Las Vegas, find new friends. His relationship with his dad blossoms. He continues to um, look at the stars. And then I really like the ending. The only science fiction part of it is this really believable. Um, it's left open-ended at the end whether or not um, anybody on Mars made contact with Adi through his machine and through Morse code. Um, so that, I thought that was pretty cool. All in all, a thoroughly enjoyable book. Thank you.